Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on November 27th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I want to share something that not many people or the mainstream media will share with you. This is the last 21 years for our solar wind stream it has been recorded through NOAA. And we are seeing some drastic changes in every graph here. The speed, and polarities, magnetic field, the density. The density has dropped off tremendously. And so has the solar wind speed. Our sun is going to sleep. This is yet another statistic that proves to me that we are on the verge of a grand solar minimum, a mini ice age that actually affected most of North America 400 years ago. So this is a 400 year cycle. And you can see a drastic drop off in the solar wind speed, temperature, and the density. You know, there's a reason why the, the United Nations developed Agenda 2030. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons why they developed those 17 steps to sustainable living. Please feel free to look that up. Agenda 2030, put together by the United Nations back in 2015, when they started noticing drastic changes across the planet. So here we are at the Pacific Disaster Center. We're going to look at the last updated alerts for disasters from around the world. We did have the largest earthquake here for the last 24 hours, the 5.8 in New Caledonia. As well, we're watching flooding conditions across the northeastern United States and also winter storm warnings with that same system that is heading across the north. Uh, United States Northeast and now into the Atlantic provinces of Canada very large low pressure system looking at all the volcanoes that have been updated over the last four hours so that's eight volcanoes that were updated today four hours ago we also had the large 5.8 north of Ascension Islands. We're going to get into the earthquakes just after weather. But I wanted to focus in on this large low pressure system that is hitting northeastern United States on its way to Atlantic Canada. Parts of the Canadian provinces will receive from 40 to 80 centimeters of snow. That's roughly just over a foot, 12 to 15 inches of snow. But watch the winds over this area as they dramatically increase. So wind warning, blizzard warning. As the front goes in, there are warm temperatures coming from the Atlantic. So there will be mixed precipitation, but on the back side of this storm, there's going to be some intense winds with very cold conditions and a lot of snow. So stay aware and prepare to the Atlantic provinces. Pretty large nor'easter. It's on your doorstep. And we're watching still very large low pressure systems in the Pacific and the Atlantic. And I've been documenting this on my channel for the last 18 months. These low pressures and high pressures are getting bigger and stronger across the planet. Look at the size of this thing in the ocean. Intertropical convergence. Let's head to Meteor Earth for a five-day forecast. Brought to you by Meteor Mike and Meteor Earth. 
cold temperatures eastern side the United States and Canada a little bit of snow coming on the weekend for Calgary overlooking the Pacific Ocean that large vigorous low pressure system ramped up in between two highs on its way to BC as well as tropical storm Manny taking the same direction most of Europe being bombarded right now by that large low pressure system coming in off the Atlantic so a lot of rain and wind but also really cold temperatures in eastern parts of Europe and here's a look at the five-day forecast for the major storm for the northeast United States and Canada South America daily daytime evaporation parts of Argentina might see some hail Africa not much to talk about there parts of Asia Pakistan East Indies not much to talk about there either except for the large high-pressure cold coming from Russia and throughout parts of Australia southeastern Australia Sydney particularly watch for some heavy downpours and wind with the low pressure system that is coming in from the Antarctic you can see here very intense high cloud tops that means a lot of rain and then possible cyclone development for New Zealand also watching another tropical cyclone developing Indonesia but around the world we are still seeing these drastic changes most of the northern hemisphere has already experienced early winter watching throughout parts of Alberta here we do have a Chinook right now but things are gonna get cold minus 9 behind that low and quite possibly some snow Sunday into Monday but I think this is gonna be the big story all the snow and mixed precipitation throughout Newfoundland and also the high winds and rain event for Europe it kind of looks like a low pressure system here is stuck on the North Pole ramping up things are really changing jet streams have changed dramatically around the world and the cold temperatures are really starting to be felt across the northern hemisphere this is Russia watch for this polar vortex to swing around the planet and affect us the first week of December most likely dipping down to minus 30 or so and we are still not even anywhere near winter on to the earthquakes this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world not too busy but we did have some pretty sizable earthquakes to talk about at 5.8 North Ascension Islands this 5.5 in Sirocco, Mexico. New Caledonia going off today, and also Fiji, 4.5. But look at the depths of these earthquakes. We can expect a larger, shallower earthquake in a little bit of time, most likely within the next eight hours. So stay aware and prepared. Most likely, throw parts of Indonesia or China. still watching in this area here San Andreas fault line Long Valley Caldera if you're watching some action here wanted to show you here on the USGS we have an earthquake swarm that has started today on Mammoth Mountain this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes every recorded earthquake 0.0 and greater but we're gonna zoom right in here to the area just south of Mammoth Mountain these are all the earthquakes that were recorded in the last 24 hours. Mammoth Lakes, California. 
so stay aware and prepared. The whole west coast is riddled with dormant volcanoes, and who knows when they will wake up again. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. I've got a very special guest coming up this week. Please stay tuned to the, my next live stream. This is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.